Hi, my name is Jesse Ingram and I'm a captain here with the Contra Costa County Fire Protection District. Today we're going to be talking about our Type 1 Pierce Velocity engine. This engine is what you'll uh, see driving around most often in your communities serving your areas. With me is Cole Petticone, he's our firefighter today on Engine 1 and we're going to be showing you uh, some of the different features here of our Type 1 engine. First and foremost, each seat on this engine represents a different rank. Each person in that rank serves different roles and all works together at the scene of an incident. We have our uh, engineer who sits uh, in behind the, the driver's steering wheel. Our captain sits here on the passenger side and behind the captain sits our firefighters. Uh, Cole Petticone and the rest of our firefighters have their own set of turnout gear as well as a uh, self-contained breathing apparatus we refer to as an SCBA. All told, uh, this gear and uh, some tools that we bring into the scene uh, will total nearly 75 additional pounds um, that our firefighters and our personnel need to operate with at the scene of a fire. Every cabinet and open area on this engine holds essential tools that we use for the variety of calls that we respond to. As we go across, uh, along our engine, we're gonna highlight a couple features um, of uh, tools that we use uh, most often uh, for uh, emergency mitigation. Since uh, 75 to 80% of our calls are medical calls, all of our personnel are either EMT certified or we have at least one CONFIRE paramedic on every engine. We have essential emergency medical tools that we have at our disposal. Since we usually arrive before our ambulance partners, having these tools uh, in our engine is, is vitally important. Our cardiac monitor, monitor can do anything um, from take a blood pressure to help restart your heart. Our airway uh, bag can give you supplemental oxygen or also medication to help you breathe uh, better. And our medical box um, can help uh, start an IV and has the equipment um, for life-saving interventions or medications for a medical emergency. All these tools are incredibly important to provide the highest level of care and emergency mitigation for any one of the 911 calls we arrive. Throughout our engine, we have a, a variety of hoses um, in different diameters. We have nearly 3,200 feet of hose for um, many different scenarios that we, that we face um, when we have an emergency um, incident. We have uh, our hose that we connect to, uh, to our hydrants, hose that we use to fight structure fires, and also hose that we use um, to make sure we can uh, mitigate any grass fire or wildland emergency. So with tools like our uh, circular saw, our chainsaw, and our sawzall, as well as uh, some of our long-handled tools, we are able to get into any door, uh, cut a hole uh, in a roof or in the side of a house, or uh, get into any car for a trapped person or a possible car fire. Each uh, fire engine holds up to 500 gallons of water and can flow nearly 1,500 gallons of water a minute. We hope to see you guys driving around safely in the areas that we serve. If you see flashing lights on our engines coming behind you guys, make sure you try to pull to the right side. If you're unable to pull to the right side of the road and there's an open lane of traffic next to you, please do everything you can to stay put and we can maneuver around you on the way to our emergency. If you see flashing lights on the freeway and an incident is happening, Please be sure to slow down, be aware of your surroundings, and please do not be operating your phones. We work very hard to keep our personnel as safe as we can, and we need your help to do so. If you have any additional questions about our department, the areas we serve, and the services we provide, please visit cccfpd.org. Thank you.